your life is anything like mine, you are surrounded by noise every day, all the time. And when I say noise, I don't just mean something audible we can hear with our ears. I'm talking about the kind of noise that overwhelms all of our senses. Bright lights, screaming children, the repetitive chorus of the song you can't stand on the radio, the flutter in your stomach as you face the never-ending to-do list, or that constant ping on your phone. Your body is in go mode all the time. My guess is you've lost maybe the urgency to find quiet. In the extra moments, instead of seeking stillness, you maybe reach for your phone or turn on the TV. I know I do. You choose things that overwhelm your senses more instead of the less you need. With the focus for the next several weeks on a rest, Reverend Amy and I are guiding you through many different types of rest. First was physical, then a mental, and this week we're talking about sensory rest. Our bodies have the gift of taking sensory input from the world around us and processing that input in our brain to create our response. This sensory input allows us to experience the world in all of its beauty and wonder, in the mundane and the absolute extraordinary. However, we all need a break from sensory input every now and again. We all need a break from the constant light and the noise of our screens. We all need to find the silence or the stillness in small moments of our daily lives. These breaks and this stillness I'm talking about can classify as sensory rest. But before we get to the rest part of this mental health moment, let's step back. We need to talk about sensory fatigue before we can talk about the rest part. Your nervous system experiences constant and sometimes excessive sensory input in every moment. You hop in the car and you turn on the music. You walk down the street and you're smelling your neighbor's breakfast while also smelling the trash at the end of your driveway while also smelling the flowers that you pass by. When you start to name every sensory input throughout your day, it can feel overwhelming. You start to notice just how much your nervous system endures. At some moment or another, you could crack. Without realizing how it got there, it all suddenly becomes just too much. Sensory input is not bad. It's a beautiful thing, in fact. But when we have too much of it without any breaks, we experience that sensory fatigue. We all have a certain window of tolerance. If we stay within its limits, we can function properly. But when we go beyond our limits, sometimes we can lose rational control and we've reached that sensory fatigue. So if we have reached this fatigue, how do we find sensory rest? Well, we need to take a break from one more of these inputs regularly. This can be simple and there's often constant sensory inputs we endure without actually even realizing it. So here are a couple of suggestions to obtain sensory rest. And first, and maybe the most obvious, which personally will be the hardest for me, is to take time to unplug. Schedule a time in the evening where you turn off your computer, put away your phone, and leave the TV behind. All of these devices and electronics are affecting our senses constantly, and taking a break will do wonders for our sensory rest. If doing this every night feels impossible, maybe just try taking an hour break every few days. Another is to simply just go outside. Take deep breaths of fresh air. Experience the stillness that nature gives us and learn from it. Going outside for even 10 minutes a day will help your nervous system to rest. 
Our focus scripture for this Mental Health Matters series is from the Gospel of Matthew. I invite you to listen to these words from Matthew again, and this time from the message translation. Hear this invitation from Jesus. Are you tired? Worn out? Burnt out on religion? Come to me. Get away with me and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Did Jesus have smartphones, laptops, and tablets? Well, no, he didn't. But he most likely had that sensory fatigue with people around him constantly, asking for help, asking for guidance, or just straight up yelling at him. So what did he do? He took those sensory breaks to be alone and in prayer with God. That was Jesus' sensory rest. So Jesus asked us, Are you tired? Yes! Are you worn out? Yes! Burnt out on religion? Maybe so. We need to rely on God and lay aside the phones, tablets, and laptops for just a brief moment. Take that time of sensory rest. Take a moment in the stillness. and Just take a moment for a deep breath. And don't forget... All kinds of rest matter because your mental health matters. Mm -hmm.